Diane Reevely here, you're at the Ranger booth at uh, Summer, Summer CHA in Chicago and I've got my new journal to show you, I'm so excited, so excited, this is my perfect journal. So it comes um, with a cover that you can completely alter and inside the book, I'm not sure if you can see there, They've got, um, we call it cartridge paper, but I think you call it Bristol board. So it's got so many sheets of that, and then it's got so many sheets of manila. So many sheets of cartridge, so many sheets of manila. And it's just such good quality. It's been made especially for me to use with my inks, and I'm so excited about it. It has a pocket at the front, so you can put all your paraphernalia in, and it's got a wonderful strap, so, sorry so you can hold it. So I'm going to do something in it. Fabulous. Uh, so I'm going to add some of my inks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of the red down one side and I'm going to come in with the black. People are always scared of the black. I like the black. And I didn't add any water this time because I just want these two to blend together themselves. I'm going to do something slightly different today. So I'm just letting it run. And I'll just clean up that. And then I'm going to blot it. Okay, so we'll do some ghosting. the um, snowflakes spritz some water through and you can see it reacting with the ink the paper in this book has been chosen specially for all my ghosting techniques it's absolutely gorgeous you can see how it's working already it's just beautiful and then I'm going to take um, the, um, one of the holly stamps and that's from one of my seasonal stamps. And I'm going to ink it up with the black archival. Always, always use um, a, an oil-based pad when you're doing this. I'm just going to turn this round because you don't want your inks to run. So I'm going to stamp this at the top. I'm just going to stamp a little bit of this round. I can add more later if I like. And then I've got the water brush and it's just filled with water. It's only got the water in it. And I want a piece of kitchen roll. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a technique called bleach out, but without using bleach. So we're going to take the colour out. So I just go as though I'm painting, and I'm not neat as usual. So I go in, paint a few, and then I press it with the kitchen roll. And can you see where it's lifted the colour out? It's just so effective to do. And you can see this paper just lifts it out beautifully. So you just go around a few. Remember to wipe your brush every now and again because you'll be get that you'll get that covered in black. And you can I'm very quick as usual, but you can take your time if you like. But there's no need to be neat at all. I just love it. I think it's like those painting books when you had as a child. You added water and the colour came. Now you add water and the colour goes. I just love it. I think my pen's run out. Oh, there we go. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to dry it a bit because this will be wet inside and I want to add some more ink on the top. And then I'm going to take uh, one of the water brushes 
with the ink in it. I'm going to use the same ink that I used underneath and we can just add that colour back in. And how effective does that look? And people get confused because they can't work out how you've got the red from underneath back on the top. Go as quick as I can. <laughs> it's a good job I'm not neat really. I'd still be on about the third one. And then um, I'm going to add a border. I think I'm going to add the Merry Christmas. Just going to ink it up in black again. And down the side. <laughs> I never mind. I, I know people panic. I don't. I don't at all. I'm going to add some more ink in here as well. I'm going to take one of the smaller stencils. So I'm going to use the snowflakes again, but in the smaller design. Um, and I'll add some more red. I'm also going to add some in black as well, so that they just stand out a little bit. We just want to be light when you're doing it with the black, we don't want to drown it. Put some up the top. As usual, just make it up as you go along. And then I'm going to use the star stencil with the paint. So I'm going to use the black dabber. So this is one of my, this is my big star stencil. And I'm going to just get the dabber going and I'm just going to run. So 
I'm just going to quickly drag because I'm going to doodle over the top. Always make sure your paint is dry before you actually doodle. So I'm going to start with the stars. I just take the stencil back again. Which way did I do it? Did I do it that way? I always lose them. There we go. <laughs> so I put it back on. And then what I do is I fit it and then I move it slightly to the side. So you can see it's like a little shadow. And then you can just draw in your stencils as well. I do a lot of doodling through the stencils. And I, I like to offset them, but that's up to you. You could always do this, things like this, doodling through, rather than I'm doing an outline on most things. Oh, is this the art journal? Oh, we just bought all her stuff in. <laughs> it must make you happy. Yeah, but I'm on video. <laughs> Lovely customers, love them. Love my stuff, yay. So you can doodle, you can go round, so you can get a different effect with what you're doing. I'll just do the few more down here. So again, I'll do some like this. And I love using white pen, but you could do it with the pearls, anything like that. And then the tree, what I like to do is write in it. So I'll put the tree back on and then move it slightly again, as you see. And oops, with the white pen. And you can write anything. People worry about what to write when they're doing the art journal or anything. And I'm just going to put um, this is a page that I did at CHA Summer. Chicago for my favourite pair of videoers. <laughs> I can't think of another word. <laughs> videoers that I have. And look how effective that that is. And then you can also, I can just where I've got a slightly uneven uneven edge here and I'll just add some more doodling down the side so I've still got that shadow I've still got that offset I've cleared up that little bit that's there I can just look out here I can add doodle on there I can just see how dramatic that, that looks so I can add things like that I can also make these stand out a little bit more so I can just put a little highlight the end of each of the holly and you can do them as much as you want you know you can stop at any time but I would probably go in and I would just add more white here on them all Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.